Good morning. This is Dan and Lee in our Sunday class talking about the story of reality. And we're going to learn more about how that works. This is the real world Jesus is talking about, not the fantasy that modern man has. Hello, Miss Lee. Good morning. Okay, we're reading today in what verses? We are reading in Matthew 26, 26 through 29, Mark 14, 22 through 25, Luke 22, 19 through 20. And we're talking about the memorial bread and cup. Okay, well, what's, the, first, what's the memorial bread and cup? Well, most, from a Jew Jewish perspective. Uh, Passover meal. Okay, it's a Passover meal where they had glasses of wine, they had unleavened bread, and they had a whole meal. They and had a whole gonna, meal. We're not going to go into the meal. No. Those are the two things. And all the, let me, I'll just briefly say, they had a plate of spices and things, and everything, everything has meaning. symbolized something. And at Passover, we'll go through those, but I don't want to today. Right. There's two significant ones, because Judas has just been run out. Yeah. I find that very interesting. Ran out before he could take the Passover. Memorial bread and cup. That's, that's right. Yeah. Before, see, we don't have communion with unbelievers. No. This is the, a line. Now, communion is a ceremony, but the ceremony is a ceremony that is about a reality. The reality is what Jesus is referring to. He gives us these images, just like the image of the Lamb. He's the Lamb of God that takes away. That's an image. That's a, he, Is he literally a lamb? No. No. Is he the Lamb of God? Yes. Yes. But And is that literal? I don't know. The Lamb of God? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's literal, thing, yeah. but it's, it's not thing. literalistic. In other words, yeah. he doesn't turn into a lamb and <laughs> and God kills him. See, it's the, the metaphor or the picture of what they did with lambs. Now, the lamb was something on the Passover. They had already consumed. What was that? Something on the Passover. Okay, the, pas I'm not, the, the Passover um, meal. Yeah. There's a, there's a lamb. lamb. There's a lamb. Unblemished lamb. That's, that's being eaten. Roasted. It had to be totally consumed. Yeah. They couldn't leave anything else behind. Yeah. They had to eat it all. And, and uh, weren't the bones broken and the well, sinews, uh, all kinds of specific But, but yeah. see, the lamb was there. Okay. Uh, and, and, now Jesus is getting a little bit more specific about this meal and its symbolism to the reality of the real world. What's the real happen? world is yeah. man is sinful and separated from God, and he needs a way to bridge this gap between the living, invisible God and the, the material world of people who have souls. And he needs a way to bring them together. And what he's doing is now is going to this. What do they call it here in this? They I, call this memorial bread. The and memorial cup. bread. That's it's that's not in the I've Bible. I've never heard it. That's his that title. Before. Yeah. Good. Um, the author of the the Mike author Christ and brings that in. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'll go with that. It's a ceremony. Uh, it's what most people think. See, most preachers are trained to do these ceremonies. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean they're Christians. Many preachers oh, are yeah. Christians. A lot of See, because they're pr trained to run churches, do funerals, do weddings, have Passover, uh, give, or give communion. Uh, you know, some do the feet washing, some don't. Uh, to do all the all the technical parts, and see, that's the problem when you focus on the technical parts that are the picture of the invisible reality that is real reality. It's eternally true. Truly true, true. Truly true, true. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. Are we ready to read? I think we're about ready to read. We set it up. Okay. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. Now he just he he, he took just went out and got a loaf of French bread. No, it has to be a specific kind of bread. Okay. Now what does it have to be? It has to be unleavened and it has to be pierced and bruised. bruised. Yeah. It's sinless. Bruised. Leaven yeah. represents sin. Mm -hmm. The bruising is what they did to Jesus, and the piercing, piercing is, is what. what so that and he, he said. So it means something. This he's now explaining why for a thousand years you've been doing this. 
Okay? Why have we been eating this same kind of bread this for all these years? This unleavened bread and this bruised and pierced bread. It gives, you, it gives me chills to think about it, that as a Jewish person, you've done this for, you know. Uh, well, since Passover. Passover. Since, remember, now, here the burning the bush and Moses, Moses, the burning you. bush, yeah. Israel, yeah. The, the, the angel of death, and, and then they had Passover was the angel was going to pass over. Death was going to pass because over. Because they had blood on the Because they had the blood post. on okay. the post. So, so all of that is in the Jewish mind. Yep. And Jesus comes along and he picks up bread. Now, it isn't just any bread. It's bruised and pierced, pierced and, and unleavened. Un sinless unleavened. Okay. 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 okay, so he blessed it. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave to the disciples, saying. Okay, now that's very important. He broke the bread. Very interesting. How it, it, go ahead. Again, the body is broken. Mm -hmm. And he saying, "Take, eat. This is my body." Okay. Now, is, stop there? at this point, <laughs> is he saying this is literally my body? No. Well, of course well, they gonna, might have thought that. They could have thought that. And what do you see, mean, this there is are churches body. today that believe there that are. it is literally our uh, the his body, body of Christ. Yeah. Who is that? What church? The Catholic Church. Catholic Church. Yeah. They have taken the ceremony and, and the symbolism and the symbolism and made it reality. Yeah. No, reality is beyond the symbolism and the ceremony. He says, "Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me." Okay. Now, very interesting here. This is my body, referring to this this bread he's breaking. Mm -hmm and that is pierced and is bruised and he's saying do this it's me he doesn't say that does he no he says do this in remembrance of in me. in remembrance of me see and the that's reason probably is, why the author calls it the memorial yeah it's a remembrance thing yeah because that's what a memorial yeah, is yeah and see he's really explaining the ceremony is important we do this we break the bread we drink the wine. A certain kind of bread. A certain kind of, of wine. Now mostly churches use saltine crackers. A lot of churches yeah. do. They, 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 they use. They, they, we're not. Yeah. They don't want to go there. <laughs> uh, if we went to where yeah. churches do, they they do all kind of adulterous yeah. things. Uh, but uh, I'm talking spiritual adultery. But yeah, there comes in true, true, too. But so anyway, this bread unleavened. Okay, so sin so we have the ceremony that Jesus is pointing to that is pointing to an event that is about to happen. Realize this hasn't happened yeah. yet. And he's trying to explain to this little group of 12, 11 now, that he just cut one of them out because they can't enter into this part of it, which is the oneness with Christ, mm -hmm. to accepting his blood and his body as our sacrifice. They wanted another sacrifice, which was their, their sacrifice to save the earth. And he, he's explaining this, and they don't get it all. And he wants them to continue doing this because he says, this do in remembrance of me. So it's I, something I want you to see we this sh that you can see and remember, a visual yeah. picture. A visual picture. To remember me. But the visual picture is not reality. No. It's a cartoon. Right. It's a, it's a Picasso. It's a, it's a Rembrandt. It's a picture not the, the substance yeah. of things hoped for. It is the symbol of things hoped right. for. Very important. Because when it becomes the substance of things hoped for, when we think that picture is going to save us, it can lead to demon possession. Yeah. Very seriously. And in like manner, after the supper, he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. And they all drank from it. Very interesting. He took many cups? Oh, he took a cup, it says. Oh. And he said, drink from it, all of you. So he gave him one so cup. So it was one and cup, drank many people. It. Yeah. Wasn't he spreading germs? Uh, well, he was God. He probably could have controlled that. He did control that. <laughs> that's the whole point. Because it was wine. Oh, and yeah, wine, wine is alcohol and it kills germs. Right. That's why. You think he had a, a, well, do you think he had a silver cup? I don't know if he well, would ever probably know. Well, probably was a gold, gold, or, gold silver. or silver. Yeah, it was probably. Which also yeah. kills germs. That's right. Germs do so not live on that. So this concept was not against health. 
fullness. Yeah. It was showing, wait a minute, out of the many, we have oneness. Mm. And the oneness is in Christ, not in some political philosophy. Yeah. Not in being a Republican, not in being a Democrat, not in being black, not in being white. What not in being uh, from this town or that town or this country or that. Those are all things that are true. Mm -hmm. But they're one and they're many. And the oneness of humanity that is truly true truth is Christ. Yeah. This is reality. Not a uh, Republican Party. Not the Democrat Party. I think. Not, the not a libertarian. Not, a, not a, uh, a black person. Not a white person. See, it is the reality is Christ in oneness, it's and and that's what He's bringing the one and the many what? together. But and th th back to the communion. Another interesting thing about wine that is different than grape juice. This is why I, it's one of my little pet peeves of what Christians do, especially Christians that that were part of the movement of anti-drinking they began to change this this change never in history was a change uh, they changed to grape juice what's the difference between grape juice and wine it's not fermented oh, grape yeah. juice wine. is not grape juice is not fermented uh, it could have been grape juice but it's dead they killed the oh, the fermentation is yeah. a living it's organism. It's not alive. Yeah, it's true. dead. Yeah. Wine is alive. It's still fermenting. That's why you seal it up to slow the process. And see, that's why communion is is very important that we use wine. Now, do you go to hell if you don't? No, you know it's not that big. Yeah. But it is the symbol. If you change the symbol, it's not just it's not the color, it's not the taste, it's not the source. It's the life, see, because wine is living. It's 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 fermenting. It's breathing. It's, it's breathing. I mean, it is a living. Yeah. A living it, it, it's got life source. in it. Yeah. Where grape juice is only dead. Yeah. And that's yeah. one of the. I think yeah. that it really illustrates yeah. Christians that are not biblicists like dead stuff. Yeah, it's just the way it is. So. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. Where did I go? Oh yes. And he said to them, this cup which is poured out for you is my blood of the new covenant. Okay, so he... Which is poured out for many for the remission of sin. So he takes this, this, this wine that is living, mm -hmm. and it's poured out for you. Uh, and I'm going to die, but my blood's going to live. Because that's where life is. Life is in the blood, the Bible says. And Jesus' blood was then after he took it. Actually, we know this from other parts of Scripture. He took it to the mercy seat in heaven, and he put it there forever. And so that blood will always be there showing that, no, God, Father, you don't kill the people. You can forgive them because my life paid for their sin. See, that's the whole now, picture of the gospel. you have to accept that blood, though. Well, you got to quit rebelling. you yeah. got to quit using your free will. See, it's, it, it, accept is a little different than, than quit resisting. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is working on all men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have we have friends and relatives that we deal with, and we've seen them for many many years, and we've seen God working for, on them for their whole lives. Mm -hmm. And some have resisted, and some have submitted. Why? Because they have free won't. They can. The one thing you can do that is the biggest thing you can do. You can tell God no. Yeah. That's free won't. Yeah. You can't create nothing out of something. That's free will. Yeah. You can't do that. Only God can do that. God can make something out of nothing. You can't. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to use the tools that are here and of nature, the natural laws. You have to use, you have to use the intelligence you have that you've been given. You, you, you start with something. But God started with nothing, nothing, only himself. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. Uh, we're finite. We, we can do amazing things, and God even said that, but that's why he divided the nations. They could screw the world up so bad it can't be fixed. That's yeah. really what yeah. the Tower of Babel was right. about. If I let them go, they can become so creative and so much technology, they could literally screw the world up. Now, I'm going to give my little theory is here, because there's a passage in the book of Revelation that says they will seek death and can't find it. I think, and one of the things is you look at the secular researchers, 
they're looking for ways to create eternal life. That's really what they're doing yeah. with aging. So you never die. That's why they freeze people, so yeah. they can bring them back someday. Well, they want them to never die, though. That's yeah. their ultimate yeah. uh, secularist solution, salvation through technology. And that's kind of the libertarian philosophy, salvation through technology. Uh, and we, we have a lot of friends that go there, and they, they think of that, salvation through technology. But technology cannot bring salvation it could bring where our soul is locked to our body and it can never be separated. See, we have this amazing blessing and curse, death. Death is the separation of the body from the soul. It's not annihilation. You don't quit existing. Your soul, the real you, the intellect, the emotion, the will, sealed in the spirit and the soul is taking to the presence of God. The body is taken to the grave. If that can no longer, there's something in us that allows that. And in the in in the garden, I believe that's what the uh, the tree of life was about. It was going to lock that together. If if you if Adam had overcome, oh, okay. if that's, Adam that's had, your personal theory, right? That's pers yeah. I'm on to personal theories. Yeah. <laughs> if Adam had gone to God and said, "Well, God, how can I help my wife from 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 oh, being taken yeah. in by this?" and God would have revealed it to him how to do it. Because, see, she wasn't dead yet. She was still, it was when Adam sinned that death entered into the world. Yeah. She was deceived. Uh -huh. Well, God could have said, oh, man, you passed the test. Because we, we know we have tests that allow us to grow. And Adam could have grown and gone and had the tree of life. But after he didn't, he, when he sinned, he began to be centered on himself. That tree was removed. Yeah, that's why they... They knew that they were naked because they never knew they were naked right. before that. They were just there. But the tree of life does something mm. that is, and we see it again in in the end of Re Book of Revelation. This tree of life that we can eat of it. And I personally believe, if I had to write a science fiction novel, and I would love to write this. I wish I was a good writer. I, I could do this, but the story of sealing. The body. Actually, I came. I, I have a science fiction novel in my head about people that figure out how to do this to seal the body. And uh, there was actually a couple movies kind of like this where people didn't die, but they they kept rotting. <laughs> they paced things on themselves. Oh, there was a funny movie. It was about funny. That. It was remember, a comedy. Yeah. But see, that is a horror movie. Yeah, it is. Well, they made this a comedy. Yeah. I remember with yeah. these three was, women that yeah. their body part, their arm would fall yeah. off, their nose. Yeah, stuff. yeah. But it, in reality, if you think about that, oh, because they gross. were sealed to their soul, they couldn't yeah. get separated. Yeah. There's a blessing in that because yeah. our bodies are separated from God, therefore they're decaying. Mm -hmm. We need a body that won't decay, right. and that's what Jesus is talking about here. Hey, I have a method which will stop the decay of the body and the soul. And it's here in my blood. Yeah. That's what he's that's why the blood of Jesus is so important. Okay, it's poured out for many for the remission of sins, but verily I say to you that I will never more drink of this fruit of the vine till that day when I drink it new with you in the kingdom of my father. Okay. So does that mean that he's waiting till the very end of time when all the judgments and everything and all the believers are together that he will drink. No, this is again. the marriage feast. We find the marriage, the marriage feast. feast. The marriage feast is... But that means that that's the end of... And it's not the, the end, of, end of, of time. Well, time is the eternal. The marriage but... feast is where the church is raptured, his bride is there, right. and they drink together. Together that's, in the kingdom of, God, of the Father. That's, that's in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's not earth. That's right. a little different. Yeah. I don't want to spend time on that because it's too know, it's kind another, of, it would take another, a long study. Another, another thing. But anyway, what I want to really get to is the concept of reality. This is reality. Reality is we're dead in our trespasses of sin. Not we're annihilated. So, we so exist. You mean the song, Imagine There Is No Heaven, Imagine There Is No Hell? That's not true. We can't just that imagine it That is the away. ultimate demonic song. That is the great lie. That is modern libertarian man. That is modern uh, secular man. That is modern progressive man. That is modern atheist man.
that imagine there's no heaven because you now your imagination takes over and and is truth as opposed to revelation from this person named Jesus Christ and you know what I was an atheist and I know how how religious I was because uh, I believed there was no God I knew I was believing it but I didn't know it I was just faking it you know and no one does that because we're all finite but anyway we're out of time today what a wonderful show we really recommend you go to the roddenreporter.com and sign up on the patreon page and become a patreon we are really developing the rodden reports we have a new one out you can get it we will actually send it to you in paper form or you can get it in uh, in 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 digital form uh, and it allows you to use the internet superhighway to talk and overcome the world talk to the world and overcome the world and in your own heart as well as others and part of it is this class that we do uh, what's this class called Miss Lee our Sunday class oh that's right it's our Sunday class with Dan and Lee and it is at our Sunday class dot simple site dot com you can go there and sign up to get the newsletter which we're really behind on getting the newsletter <laughs> out because we've really been busy here with relatives and friends and things life life you know and again I, I it's not an excuse it's retirement I don't I don't have to do it but I want to do it and we will get caught up so uh, I've got ideas of how to catch that all we've been I've been doing a lot of creating a lot of work a lot of design work uh, it all takes time and I don't have a staff and that's okay I just like you not have just our well that's not true I have a staff I have Miss Lee my faithful fruitful wife what a wonderful thing to have most people don't have that you know that no yeah, well most, I know they don't have me well, a lot, most of them have me. many of them well that's you know that's true too. are you married that's so well I've been married to this woman this woman this woman uh, 50 years that's a long time it is a long time to put up with somebody like you or oh I thought you were gonna say <laughs> Aren't I, you thankful how I put up with there you? There you go. I time. know I said that wrong, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, okay. yeah, All right. yeah. Well, again, come and see us. Come to theroddenreporter.com or our Sunday class dot simple site dot com. Remember, reality is what God makes because it's forever. Temporal is everything else. It's a fantasy. It's an imaginary world. It's a comic book. <laughs>